Hi, my name is Victoria Calvin with Splish and Splash Mobile Pet Spa in Miami, Florida. In this clip, I'm going to show you how to groom your dog at home. Because everybody at home has a bathtub, this would be the best place to start your grooming. Once you have your dog in the tub and restrained somehow, to make sure they don't run away, you're going to want to clip their nails first. Clipping their nails in the bathtub is good because just in case you quick them, the water will be able to rinse away any bleeding that that might cause. Remember never to clip too much because you don't want to cut into their vein. Just take off the very little tips, just like this. Alrighty. Using treats is also a good way to get your dog to cooperate and will make this a little bit more enjoyable for them. After clipping their nails, you want to move on to cleaning their ears. Using an R7 ear cleaner, this is the best stuff on the market, you're going to open their ear and apply a couple of drops way in there. Hold their ear firm so that they don't shake it out before you have a chance to swish it around. Then just massage their ear, let the liquid do its job. It's going to loosen up all the wax and make it very easy for you to swab it out with a Q-tip or a cotton ball. After you've let it sit for a couple of seconds, you want to look inside, see if there's any big pieces of debris, then get a Q-tip and very gently just go around the outer ear portion. Never put your Q-tip farther than you can see. This can touch their eardrum, make it very uncomfortable for them, and even cause permanent hearing damage. After you've done that, it's time for a bath. You're going to want to soak your dog thoroughly. After your dog is thoroughly wet, apply a small amount of soap starting at the top of their back and massage it into a nice thick lather. So after you're done rubbing in the shampoo, it's time for rinsing. When you rinse, start up at the top, right behind the base of the dog's head, and push back. When they go to shake, a good way to sometimes keep them from totally spraying water everywhere is to grab the base of their neck and apply gentle pressure. When you're rinsing, make sure to get all the mixing crannies like their armpits and right behind their back leg. Any soap that's left on can cause itchiness. Once you're done rinsing, push the water out with your hands and your groom has been complete. Once again, this has been Victoria Calvin. Thank you for watching.